Hello ladies and gentlemen, here is Elnadine Dental Lab. Today we offer you a detailed explanation of how to design a full anatomic crown. Let's start first by getting to know our case. This is the case file that we have today. All our files are formatted as STL files. Let's name our case. We have upper 16. Now press on tooth number 16 by clicking on left mouse click. Choose full anatomic and choose the marital from here like zirconia multilayer. We will not choose anything from this page today. You can put your adjacent teeth if you have it. And choose the antagonist to tell the software that we have two models. Hold Control and press the left mouse click on the any tooth to copy it. We will copy the case that I sent it on Telegram and paste it on this part. Now we are start for the second part. Let's jump to design. You see that we have holes here. I will learn to you how to close it. We will go to expert mode and press the right mouse click and go to Edit Meshes Select the Holes and click Close Holes. It's closed, but we have some issues. We will fix it by clicking on Free Form Scan Data. Choose the pen and press Shift to Digiting in like that. This is not recommended, but we use it in an emergency cases. We can also delete anything that we don't want it in our case. Press on True Smile to see more clearly the finish line. First of all, we will detect the margin line. We close the magnet and complete the selection. We work as much as possible to make a circular finish line. When you arrive to the end, Press the left click double time to finish detecting. Now we are on crown bottoms part. In crowns, we will put the gap 0.05 millimeters and from margin 0.5 millimeters. Please always discuss your intentions when adjusting numbers with your service provider or milling center support. I put all the border on zero. We are now on important part in the insertion of the crown. The important thing here is that we want all the finish line on green color. The red zone is the minimum thickness. We can switch the library by the arrows. Now let's make a good placement. That's all the shortcuts on ExoCAD. You can save it on your device. By clicking on Control, we can rotate our tooth. By clicking on Shift, we can scale our tooth. That's blue points is contact point. Now we are on the last part, free forming the tooth.
Now we finish our tutorial. I think we did a nice job. If we have any questions, ask me on the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.